Queen of Cotway, directed by what's her name again? Mira Nair. I can't. I I'm gonna butcher some people's names in here. That's just a fact of life. I apologize if I butcher anybody's name in advance. It's a Disney movie based on a true story. It stars Lupita Nyong'o, David Oyelowo. Medina Nwanga. I, I told you I was going to fuck up somebody's name. I'm just going to call her Fiona because I, I feel like I've already fucked up her name enough. It's a true story based on this girl who lives in the slums of Africa with her family. She gets introduced to the game of chess. A coach, played by David Yellowo, is teaching this group of kids how to play chess. And so she's like, oh, okay, that looks like fun i want to play chess so she starts playing chess and then she starts getting good at it and then she starts getting insanely good at it to the point where she can predict somebody's moves eight moves in advance she just becomes the jimmy neutron of chess essentially in africa she starts entering her and the rest of the kids into these tournaments into these competitions her goal is to become like the grandmaster of chess so this tells the story of how a kid a girl from a bad place in africa became one of the best chess players in the world. After watching this movie, I might have to crank out that board and get back on my chess bullshit. Really, it's that good. I really had a good time watching this thing. I will give a shout out to the main chick, Medina Nwanga. She does a good job as Fiona. What I like about her is that she feels real. She feels like a real person and she's put through certain situations in the movie that would affect a person in real life. I know it's based on a real story, but you know how some people are depicting a real life story and then they come off as being fake or they come off as where you're like, yeah, but I can tell they're exaggerating because they're acting. No, no, in her, she feels like a real life person going through these situations where she's affected differently by these different scenarios. I like the fact that this chick perfectly captured all the emotions that the real life chick must have been going through when she got this good at the game of chess. I like the way chess was depicted in this movie too. They really do do a good job of depicting it as a sport. We don't think of chess as a sport really, usually. I mean, I didn't. This is really mental competition like at the highest level. You have to plan, you have to think, you have to strategize. I'm like a really lazy mentally and I just don't like doing all those mental hula hoops. I'm probably just gonna stick to checkers but it damn near made me want to go back and play chess lupita nyongo and david oyelowo oh my gosh david oyelowo plays her coach in this movie terrific he's terrific in this movie he has his own story too he has his own life outside of just teaching these kids but you really feel how important it is for him to like get these kids an opportunity to go above and beyond their settings and their location lupita Youngo, though holy shit she is amazing in this movie she elevates the movie above the cliches and yeah it's a sports movie so there's gonna be cliches duh she was brilliant she was absolutely brilliant she plays the mother of what's her name the mother of fiona really also has a great range of emotion in this movie as well as she's trying to be protective and supportive and in the meantime she has all this other stuff to worry about also for a kids movie it's a little bit more mature than you would think themes of racial stereotyping there are themes of poverty and struggle and economic depression it's not just a kids movie for the sake of being a kids movie it's a kids movie that's got a little bit more heart and heft to it which kudos <laughs> The th issues that I have with this movie are really more like nitpicks. They're not like huge issues. The movie is predictable. It kind of feels weird to say that a real life story is predictable, but hey, maybe that just means real life is kind of predictable sometimes. You can pretty much tell how the movie's gonna go. You can pretty much see the rise, the fall, the return, the, the pitfalls. You can see it happening from a mile away. In that, the movie's a little bit cliche. Not a huge issue, just a nitpick. You just can't really watch the movie without going, yep, I know exactly how that's gonna go. I know how that's gonna go. And Oh, it turned out that way. Wow, why am I not surprised? The movie does this thing that a lot of movies are doing lately where they show a certain point in the movie and then they spend the rest of the movie building up to that point that you saw in the beginning. It just kind of means that there are some parts of this movie that feel longer than they should. It just feels like there's a little bit of a pacing issue. It's it's not like you're bored or anything, but it's just, when I w walked out of the movie, I thought I was in there for two and a half hours. And in reality, the movie is not two and a half hours. The movie just feels like it's two and a half hours. Queen of Cotway, it's a really inspirational, feel-good movie, elevated by terrific performances, a great location, and a great way of looking at the game of chess as more than just, hey, move this piece here and move that piece there. It should, at least, get you interested in stories like this, where people that can come from anywhere 
even if it's a bad situation and make something of themselves. So close to being great, like I just have a few issues that knock it down for me, but either way, it's a very high on the Man of Steel scale. All right, that's my review of Queen of Cotway. Stay tuned, I will have my NFL reaction video up tomorrow sometime. Enjoy, like, and if you like, subscribe. It's pretty simple. Talk to you guys later. As always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel, and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.